What have you got for me today? You done? May I see your stores? That be all? I will see you later. Farewell, Eivor. Nothing else for you. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until next we meet. What do you see?
would like to. Do you need anything else? What have you got for me today? Nothing more today. Go up. All done. Until next time. Up for some...
Tarbin. Such a joy to... Uh, The Wolfka, so glad to see you. Salutations. Have you got a country? Not only one man's death, I do it. What do you have today? The joys of a flying friend. Enjoy. I have to go. So long.
would like Good for now. With my blade at your side, Join all your will fear tomorrow. our wrath. Let ring the sword song this day. Another Okar came after him. Man your oars! Sail out! Yes. Let's have a song. If you have a friend, one that's truly trusted, you want to... Our shining
Who are these? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure someone is here? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. Here, a hidden entrance. It might be lurking below. You have done it. We must hurry. First, flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of this goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? Avon, something is there. Hold on, we'll find a way through. Help me out here! Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. By plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not. Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. She also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me! This is all I'm saying. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Kissed and half done. Well met. Come. You stole this tribute. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? That was. That was Olaf? Damned fool. We thought he was a thief. The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit shining my silver. You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl, for battles won and blood let. Eivor, you tell him!
This is treason. Faravid treated us better than you ever. Faravid is nothing. Forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Farrellid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He. <coughs> Forgive me. I, I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? His forces are gathering at Stenway. Hmm. I see. Traitors, thieves. No right. They had no right to... ...fully mine. Faravid should be waiting at Stenway. Go! 
I'll keep your attention here. Neither. Stop. You there. Where's y'all? Will he be here? Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishi promised an army. What about Hjord and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of you. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Join us or stay home out of spite.
Part of its plan had better be sound. It will be a good fight. I faith in you. Let us hope this goes well. Part of its army. Battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Earl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My new ally is more loyal than my old friend. Eivor Two-Faced. That is your name. I came here for Halfton, to prove my worth and loyalty to him. You brought this down upon yourself. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Yuvina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. Look there. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. came in great numbers. They came to fight. Turn tail and run. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall. We have more gods. We may have but one god hidden. But we have many more friends. Who now 
now is the rightful king of Northumbria. The kingdom has spoken.
eyes open for the coward King Rishi. Traitor I suspected all this time. Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow.
He's fleeing to the north. Please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart... I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon. You... But I... I see no light. Hell's frozen door. But what wait? A traitor's death for a treat. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his... No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire... You'll take the crown yourself. And the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Oh, <laughs> 
Moira. It's Hafton about. Eivor, welcome. Hafton has stepped outside with Baravid. They shouldn't be far. Go on, steady your balls, and ask her to shake asses with you. I long to join this crew. One all skulls will herald. Shall we lock up? Drink it down. How much? All in. Man, you're. Open it up! Step with him and other Show me what lies ahead. Appreciate. I struggle to be surprised. I was caught off guard. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Enjoying the festivities. Wolf kissed, yes. Happy to be here. The crowning of a new king. It's not something I've seen this close. Moira, how are things in Wike? I get by. There will always be those who dislike me. But how I handle their ire is up to me. So yes, things are mostly well. Save some meat for the rest of us, follow it. Ah, I have to thank you, Eivor, for your counsel, for your blade. All this would not be possible, but for you. You mean more to your king than you know. Take this goblet. <laughs> no, you keep it. I have a new brother. Through him, I've learned that battle... The word... Have you had enough fun? My cr... I'll save some for later. Let's make... To Eivor and the Raven clan of... To Hafton King, I live crown spire, stout oak of Valkyries, spinner of battle wisdom. Long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <coughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Oh, 
That's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do... Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. I'm... You... All these years you gifted... Old friend, please. Your... This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's here. Oh, shit! You want me dead? Afton, stop! You stand beside... I do. Let truth guide us here, not madness. I am Halfdan Ragnarsson, wolf of... Not my king. I will not bow to a man who accuses me of treason. In days yet to come, men will sing the praise... You are the hero of a coward's tale. A man... You are banished. Thank you, King. I... No more. Leave me. That's about. You're scary, Don't at me, are fearfully quiet, eh? One should never break a silence without reason. Did you know about the goblets, the lead? Now is the time for truth. I hope one day we may raise our spears together, old friend. We hope for many things in this life, yet we are...
that rubbish. I intended to use it. Huh? Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid. With Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Eivor. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sail cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun. What did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks, and salvaged what I could. I wished to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return? Exactly. Yes. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have in- Oh, I will thank you. Quiet. After careful thought, it is clear that- What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holgate. You have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Secret, you all know that that is not the- This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay Prax, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is- Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair? Oh, no. 
No, you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your Jarl, the source of all right and wrong, the lord of justice in this place. Without rank, without order, without a chain of command, life cannot endure! Chaos will reign! Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Not defer to those wiser than yourself. My judgment stands. Thirty times the sale cost value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Good day, Eivor. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and wrecked. Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. If it is not in the meantime. I entered Jovik's Shire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my... I should go. Asim, have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? Any loss of happiness or feeling? He appears to me more thoughtful, introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor, among stranger people. Sigurd may be among the blessed. But who can say for certain? Indeed.
I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. Benedictus. I smelt you on the wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Bavendin da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? If mom and dad carried a vingula than I couldn't help Drew's me. Breaks of man power, the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air, see how good pass Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years. <laughs> and the Mercians here. Hmm. And the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger? They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. 
face is cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. The elder man, Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place, and he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur. This is able. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunner speaks, I expected. Uh... Need to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I am here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards. Then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family. Before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan. But your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season. But Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's sir. Kunon, I do not need. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of war. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in prey... My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pick to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sour. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the... Magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Canom your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. 
Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm Kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunin for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefta. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Velvus boy! Thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. What adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were casted by a group of boars. Odd, but path and I usually serve. To the Brevo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal anvil is spread down in creatures of the veil. The bag for treats. Glower Shester gives her glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, You'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I have only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. 
Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Lubed. Now, that's hooden. Become the Mary Lubed, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat cannot make me sing on command. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I will fill your shop with sheep. else is dressed this way, I will fill your shop with sheep. Locked. No one out.
Godfrey, what business have you? Oh, the Mary Louis. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sow in night and the moon is high. Mary Louis haunts my door. Give me sweets and candied treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then, sweets for the Mary Louis. You've earned it. Are you playing the role of Trickster Spirit? Can Trickster Spirit see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road, from my abode, there is an open veil. I've been here knocking and the walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is! Ah, lads getting into their cuffs, scaring the wee ones. Good! Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our stores so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes! Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar! My cakes! Have a look, soon. Child. I have... Gunnar! Oh, damn deserter. You are either fearless or stupid boy. To speak to someone of the rape... Fitting name for scavengers! Winged rats! Take him what isn't... I'll pick out your eyes and fit... Gunnar, your guest's here. Let him go. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken. Christ, I'm tall. Take this! <laughs> you lot, we should be burning alive! Ugh! <laughs> 
Are you sure you don't want to stay in Gloucester? They know how to have fun. Time to die! Four spears! My leg! Gunnar! Beautiful! Enough! Keep your brawls to the other side of the river. There's I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from... Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of... To Lucas. Maldron's a compass to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Salim. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tefter becomes elder men. If Dina fall... Regardless of who you poor. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing Gwenny, my love. Go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I give me strength. A man modern is known and a humor toe good run. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go away. Madron, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine, but no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. My prices are competitive. <gasps> With bitter ale and sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. There you are. Tefter. You're well met. Guilim here has challenged my honor in a... Toinos! Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For a shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of... Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Dabby, babe. I came to... To holy hearths and hu... Oh, 
this merriment feat. Of all the Eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon lead death. I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman, horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile at Your people are loyal to you, Kuna. Seems a waste. Their loyalty would falter if I shirked my duties. I will die glorious in flame, not live to further choke my homeland. A toast, then. To Elderman Kunin, joyous and generous. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. Weak. What is this? Water? I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me vision. Wow, that tastes awful. Avos, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I for that. A colossal horses. Soft words from that. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> How nice is that? Nice enough to tell you that you are wrong for the Elderman's seat. Maybe you are correct. I wanted to be a cardinal. But the men who raised me said I'd serve God better as an Elderman. You are your own man, not theirs. Tefter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. Yeah. The greatest, greatest oath. And the greatest union. The treaty! <laughs> shh, shh. People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? This way, this way. Look out for the Black Sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. Uh, you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are, right inside here. Hefter! Hefter! Where are you? <laughs> Hell's breath. What happened last night? Uh, and the effects of that draft still cling. After, are you here?
part has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefter's, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. Muddy footprints. Someone was hiding back here. What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! Willem's pouch. I wonder if it still has a little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So... What does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached that side. They jumped from the shadows to kill his bodyguards. And to disable Tefta. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Quillen's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Quillen's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Gunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests. And now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. I for an eye. Get the murderer! Shall we see? Slashed and disemboweled of sharp weapons. Saxon blade from the fifth. Spread your wings, Suna. Wah! Wah! Go, 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 go
Flashes! as soon as I heard. Tefter is missing. Murdered. By those visiting Danes, no less. It's true what they say. Soulless killers, the lot of them. Ilium come for intercept septimo. in Tefter's wrecked home. Uh-oh. Did you stab blood but no body? We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the... A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Flash the houses! Can't have gotten far! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be mine. Can you... I've seen nothing and... Mother... If the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewin. Yes. Halewin's cabin is on. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits.
Ugh. <laughs> 